Welcome to WoodlandsComputerGeeks.com What we're going to do today is show you how to save your Outlook email out to an archive file and what I do is I like to save it out to an external drive so it's not on your C drive so if you lose your email all you got to do is import it back so you go into Outlook this is Outlook 2007 we're running on Windows XP Service Pack 3 we're going to go to File, Import and Export. You're going to select Export to a File on this menu here, this wizard. Click Next. And you're going to go down to Personal Folder File dot PST. Click Next. And it's going to default to your inbox. You're going to go up to the top and highlight personal folders and then you want to check include subfolders click next and here you got three options replace duplicate items allow duplicate items do not export duplicate items since we're going to create original file we're going to just leave the default now you're going to want to browse and select a location to where you want to store these I have a special folder on a secondary drive so here's your C drive here's your here's my external backups and this is my external backup drive I created a folder called exchange just because of exchange server the name down here under the file name I'm gonna change it and I like to put in the date so I'll put in 020910 February 9th 2010 click OK and click finish and it's going to bring up a little folder and you can give it a name and I just give it February 9, 2010 as a name uh, you can password protect it by putting your password in once and then the second time and that way when you try to open or anybody tries to access that archive file it'll require a password and I'm not putting one uh, I'm gonna click OK and now it's gonna go out and it's going to start going through your email folders and exporting them out so everything that's under this list over here is gonna be captured so then if we go to Windows Explorer, I'll open this real quick, and I go to my exchange folder, sort by modified date, and you can see here that here's the file 020910, and here's a little temporary file under it. So it's building the file, and it's going to place it there. So that's all I have to do. Um, whenever I want to go back and retrieve any one of those archive files, I just go, I can't do it now since this is creating a file, but I'll just go ahead and cancel it. Uh, what you'll do is you'll go File, Well, it's still archiving out evidently what you do is you go file import and go through the same menus and you do import PST file and then it will import all your email back into your folder as it was at the date you archived it and I'll show how to import it on the next video I'm going to show how to create a working oh here we go import now here you're going to go to import from another program or file next personal folder PST next and at this point I would go and browse go to my exchange folder and I have all these archives going all the way back to 1999 I think so I can pull up any email from 10 years ago that I had 
if I want to see you know what I was looking at then or if there's something I need to dig up anyway uh, like I said on the next one I'm going to show how to create a working archive an empty archive folder until next time thanks for stopping by